Welcome to West Durham BMW. My name is JP Dunphy. I'm the BMW genius here at the dealership. So in today's video, I'm going to go over the collision systems that you will have in your car or can have in your car, depending on how you're equipped. First and foremost, we're going to go over how to get to your collision systems. To get to those by pressing this button right here. It looks like the car with a circle or guard around it. After you're in your intelligence safety, you're going to want to scroll over to configure individual. From right here, you'll have all of your options depending on what you're equipped with. Now, the typical the typical um, appointments are a forward collision, lane departure, and blind spot. As you go up in your packages, you'll also add side collision with steering intervention as well as blind spot uh, with steering intervention as well. Within them, you do have all your options from early, medium, and late. Obviously, you'll have your small uh, illustration on the right-hand side here. That'll show you exactly the difference between them. Uh, obviously, if you want for a forward collision, if you want earlier detection, you want to go early. If you want late detection, go late. With a uh, side collision, it's basically either on or off. That's constantly watching the side of your car to make sure that you don't get hit from the side. If they're about to, it'll let you know. Lane departure warning is same as front collision mitigation, either early, medium, reduced, or off altogether. A more common one that we always get is how do I make it so that whenever my lane departure starts going out of a lane, the car doesn't intervene with steering. So typically when you're driving with this particular setting on, as you're driving along, you will see the small lane keep uh, warning over there. It'll go off and you'll actually feel the car kind of eh, 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 take you in. If you do not want it to do that, the easiest way to do it is simply deselect it. Then likewise you have blind spot detection with the same options, early, medium, late, or off. And then of course with steering intervention for that one, it'll basically make it so that you cannot do the lane change if there's a car in your blind spot. I suggest leaving that on, especially if you tend to be a little more absent-minded while driving. And with that, these are all of your collision systems, how to get to them, and how to change any of those settings to your individual liking. Thanks so much. Any more questions, feel free to leave comments in the comment section below. Subscribe for any more information that we have. We'll have a few more videos coming out very soon. Thanks so much. Have a great rest of your day.